everyone, Cherie here. Today I'm going to be creating using some fantastic new stamps from Kerry Bradford Studio. Uh, we've got the Read stamp set here, all about uh, books and reading, which is perfect for any book lover. And we've also got the Brooklyn lowercase solid and outline stamps. I'm so excited about these. Uh, you may have seen me using these before in previous projects. These were my absolute favourite Kerry Bradford stamps, the Brooklyn Solid and Brooklyn Outline. You can see I've used them quite a bit, but now they come in lowercase as well. So that is so awesome. I'm very excited about that. So I'll be using these on my spread today. Uh, this is a spread that's going into my binder. Uh, it's just one of those six ring binders. It can be used as a planner, but I'm also using it this year just to uh, record things for myself, where I'm at right now, what I want to focus on this year, that sort of thing. So throughout the year, I want to be adding pages to uh, my binder with things like this. So this one is about how um, this year I really want to make more time to read. I used to read all the time. I loved reading. And then in the past few years with kids and different hobbies, I've really let it go and I haven't read a good book in quite a while so I really want to change that this year and I want to focus on making more time to read even if it's only half an hour a day I really want to get back into that so I thought I'd show you this this is how I like to plan out a page with my stamps so what I do is I choose my photo that's just a photo of a few books I have ready to read um, and what I do is select which stamps I'd like to use and then I lay them out on the page so that I can see how much space I've got, make sure everything's going to fit. And um, I've also got on this side, it says make time to get lost in a good book. Uh, the beauty of these Brooklyn stamps is you get multiples of a lot of the letters. So you can actually lay them out on the page to see how they're going to fit. And you can also um, get multiple letters or you can get a whole word on your stamp block to stamp at any time because you've got multiples of E's and A's. Uh, M's and N's like three S's there. It's it's awesome. So I'm planning on Using some rainbow colors. I'm hoping this all works out. I want to stamp in rainbow colors in the solid and Then I want to go back over them with the outline using black. So that's the plan um, This side I'll probably just be using black ink for these particular stamps um, on these stamps here, I'm using Read a Good Story at the very top. I've also got that little open book at the very top as well. And then down the bottom here, I'm planning on using the little bookshelf there. So that's what I've got planned. So what I might do now is pop you on fast forward and show you how this all comes together. All right, so I'm going to work my way up the page from the photo for that top section of stamping first. So the first stamp I'm using is the one that says a good story. So just popping that right above the photo there. Next I've got the one that says read in capital letters. So inking that one up because it's a solid sort of font. So I want to make sure I get really good ink coverage there. So that's looking good. And then the last stamp at the very top is that little open book stamp. Now I do try this on scrap paper a couple of times because I did smudge it a little bit the first time and I wanted to make sure I got a good image before going onto the page. All right, so that's going on there now. So I'm happy with that. Now I can go ahead and add my photo. I've just got double-sided tape on the back of that one. And I'll also add a little strip of washi tape at the very top of the photo. Then my journaling can go onto the page. I've typed that one up using my computer and the font I used for that was called Typo. So that can go under the photo. And then I've got that last stamp going down the very bottom of the page, which is this really cute bookshelf. So lots of ink for this one because it's a larger stamp with a few solid areas. So I'm happy with that. I'll add some more ink and then go on to the bottom of the page. Okay, so that one's now done. I will just grab my sewing machine and add a little bit of stitching to that journaled area. And then I can move on to stamping the other page. So I'll put that one aside. 
and now I'm looking at this stamped page. So all the stamps are sort of set out so it gives me an idea where I want to begin stamping. So I'm just going to start at the top with that first word. So just getting my little block. And I'm using the Colour Wheel uh, ink pads from Vicky Booten. And I'm going to start with the light pink and then work my way around the Colour Wheel. Uh, after the yellow, I was going to use a Stampin' Up! stamp pad, but I switched it over to a Memento stamp pad that's called Pear Tart. And then for the blue, I'm using an Ellie Edwards stamp pad, uh, which I think is called Columbia. I really like this combination of colours. So just show you stamping a couple of the letters. I won't make you watch all of it because it would be very long and tedious. <laughs> so I'm just going to stamp the M and then the A. So you can see the M's on there now. Going on there with the A. And here you go. I'm making progress down the page now. So on to colour number five at the moment. So I'll keep stamping and then give you an idea of how the whole page looks very shortly. My rainbow stamping and this is how it's looking so far. I do plan on putting uh, some text up the top there which is why I've left a larger gap up there than down the bottom. So now I'm moving on to the outline stamps these ones here. So I thought I'd do the first one, show you how it's going to look. So I've just got my stamp on my block. I'm using stays on ink since this is the one that I had sitting on my desk. And I'm just going to go straight over the top of that M. And it's actually pretty well lined up. And that looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and do the A if I can find it here. that one up. Now if it doesn't line up exactly it doesn't matter because it's still going to look good even with a bit of colour on the outside of the line. It doesn't bother me at all and I know I'm not going to get them all perfect but I do love that contrast of the black with the colour. So I'll keep going on this and show you the end result. Alright, so I've done all of my outline stamping now, so I'll give you a closer look at that. Pretty happy with how that's turned out. So I now have another stamp to go right down the bottom. And this one is the one that says, A book a day keeps reality away. So I'm going to use my stays on ink for that one as well. Just ink that one up. Pretty good. That can go right down the bottom there. And I've just got this other bit of text to put at the very top. And then I'll go and add a little bit of stitching to this bit and then I'll show you how it looks in my binder. Okay, so this is how it looks in my binder. And I ended up changing the washi to that bright yellow because it just needed a little bit of brightness on this side of the spread to match the colours over here. There was already some of the other colours in the photo. I just felt it needed that bright yellow, just to add a little pop of colour there. And that's my spread. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I put this together today. Um, let me know if you've got any questions. Just pop a, a question down below in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll leave a link down below to Kerry Bradford Studio. And thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.